So hey guys, the uh, the Wolves third kit has been launched this evening. Uh, it's there on the uh, on the screen behind me, and uh, this is going to be just my initial thoughts on uh, this third kit. It's been uh, rumoured and leaked for a long time in, in a lot of ways that we knew it was going to be sort of a purpley colour. And it is a purpley colour. There's some uh, leaked images that were out over the last couple of days. Um, and as with leaked images, they're not exactly accurate. And um, But yeah, I mean, it's come out. Um, it was launched, as I say, on the app. Gemma Firth for, from Walls went over to Pseudo headquarters to speak to one of their head designers about this. And they go into a lot of detail and... Uh, one of the things that you can actually see is um, they call it the glitch or something like that. They wanted to go something very, very bold with the uh, the third kit. The uh, the lady that was being interviewed said, "Is there a cut?" Well, there was Gemma was asking, "Is there a colour for this?" And she said, "I describe it as hyper violet, uh, and it certainly is bold, uh, which is what they were they were going for." Obviously, they have talked about uh, how it's been designed in terms of uh, the performance as well. Uh, so like, I'm looking at obviously getting your uh, initial thoughts and rating out of ten uh, for this. Obviously, as always, you know, you, I've not seen it in the flesh yet. It launches uh, online uh, properly uh, tomorrow morning. But it's uh, as I'm recording this, it is Wednesday night, just after it's uh, been released. Um, when I saw the, the leak kits, uh, the leak of it earlier, I mean, yeah, it's the colours mirror similar. I thought it was a little bit girish uh, with the uh, the clash with the uh, the orange uh and uh the uh the purple seeing it on the uh actual images and seeing the actual um pattern on the shirt and on the players it doesn't look as bad as i thought um i'm not i'm still not com completely convinced on the orange and the the, uh, the combination of the colors i thought maybe the a white would have looked a little bit maybe classier uh, and it is a little bit garish i think but saying that i kind of like don't dislike it i don't hate it uh, i can't say that i absolutely love it at the moment but i you know they wanted to have something bold and they've certainly uh, achieved that and um from that sort of point of view it's going to be interesting to see what the general reaction is uh, amongst the fan base, of course. If the first kick came out, with there was on about the centre badge. The second kick came out, the people were worried about the wolf. But that ten actually turned out both kits were extremely popular. Be interesting to to gauge the popularity of this kit uh, and how it goes down. But like the one thing that you are getting uh, from Sudo is your bespoke kits. You know things that are different. And um, it's not bad to be different. It might be a bit of a Marmite kit. We'll have to wait and see. So, yeah, my initial thoughts are, yeah, it's it's different. It's bold. It's brash. It's out there. I think it's going to divide opinion. I think it might be a bit of a Marmite kit. Hopefully, you'll get more of an idea when I see it in the flesh like a lot of you. But leave your thoughts initially in the comment section below. My initial thoughts on it are, yeah, it's it's... <laughs> I don't know. I can't make my mind up really, uh, but I don't. I don't hate it, uh, and I don't can't say I absolutely love it. But I, I, you know, I think seeing it in the flesh, I'll be able to see a little bit better. And obviously, uh, I will give you some thoughts on that. But yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Give it a rating out of ten. Um, and uh, yeah, if you enjoy these sort of videos, hit that uh, like button, subscribe. Until the next one, always wolves.